Holy, holy, holy. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Family Night Live, keeping it real with the Word of God. Holy, holy, holy. This is Reverend Dr. Peggy Turner. Yes, it is. Gigi is here. <laughs> All broken up, torn up, but I'm still standing on the Word of God. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we just thank you. Thank you for another day. I thank you for another hour. I thank you for this hour, Lord Jesus, that you saved me, that you came through for me, Lord, when I needed you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this place. Lord, I ask forgiveness for anything I've said or done that's been displeasing in your sight, Lord Jesus. I ask for forgiveness right now, Lord Jesus. Create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit. Renew your spirit in us today, Lord. Oh, heck, get on, Moshanda. Lord, just take over right now in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit, hallelujah, hallelujah. What comes out of my mouth, the authority, the power is your power, is your authority. Nobody came to hear from Peggy or to hear from somebody else. They came to hear from you, Lord, a word from you. And if you decide to use me, oh, Lord, I am grateful. I'm grateful, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Minister to your children, Lord. Because it's something that they came to hear. It's something that they need this evening, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. They have this game going on called the Super Bowl. But this is the Super Bowl of the true and living God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'd rather be up under this anointing than anything else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your word says with two or more gathered, believe in that thing as though it's already done, it will be given to us by our Father, which is in heaven. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. So all our prayers and supplications, Father, we know tonight will come to pass because you said so. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. Glory to your name. You are worthy, God. You are worthy, God. You are worthy, God. And I bow before you. Hallelujah. Because there is none like you. There is none like you. You are worthy, God. Bless your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. The word says that, hallelujah, we will bow before you. On earth. Under the earth and above the earth, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is power. Jesus is authority. Jesus is the last, the first and the last. Hallelujah. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. It was his sacrifice, his passion at the cross that he made for us. Hallelujah. While we were yet sinners while we were yet in sin when I knew I was going to go curse somebody out he still stood stood for me thank you Jesus when I knew I was going to go commit some kind of sin he still stood for me hallelujah his blood his blood his blood hallelujah hallelujah it's nothing but the blood of Jesus thank you Lord thank you father glory 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 to your name thank you Jesus Hallelujah. Bless your holy name. As you sat with me in that operating room, hallelujah, and I had surgery on my eye, Lord Jesus. The doctors and the nurses came out there. Thank you. Thank you for those beautiful songs you were singing. And I was like, good grief. I don't even remember what I was saying. <clears throat> and it's just amazing. It's amazing how you move, Heavenly Father. But every time I go into one of those surgical rooms, I go in there with your word. Hallelujah. All my lips in my heart. Thank you, Jesus. And all I did was just sing through the whole surgery and had no idea because they didn't put me completely out, but enough so that I wouldn't feel anything. But I don't even remember anything. And I certainly don't remember singing to them. 
I remember going in and kind of warming up, and I went, ah, la, 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 la. And I did that, and they kind of laughed. That's all I remember. But through the rest of it, for the next 45 minutes, they said I sang through the whole thing, and the doctor was like, I am so grateful. I love those songs that you sang. They were just wonderful. And it was ministry, 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 ministering the word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your holy name, Father, that you chose me, that you choose me. Get on, Moshanda. Thank you, Lord. God has a promise for each and every one of you. Elanam, your son, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's not over. Hell out of your son, until God said it's over. Get up and move around. Get up and do something. Thank you, Jesus, because he has work for all of us to do. It's not over. It's just getting started. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now I can see out this eye better than I ever saw it ever in my life. I was like, wow, look at the colors. It was like having a brand new color TV. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Then it was hurting and um, it was um, like just throbbing and hurting. And I couldn't reach the doctor. And I just said, you know what? I'm not even dealing with this nonsense. I'm going to lay hands on it. Lay hands on it and call the word of God. Call healing down. And I call healing down. His healing. Thank you, Jesus. His word. Thank you, Lord. His blood. And that thing, hallelujah, just raised right on up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Then God gives us wisdom. And I finally got through to the doctor, and she gave me a, a prescription, and they told me it was going to be snowing outside, and um, I don't know if I could get there. And I was like, no, it's not, Jesus. <laughs> I can barely see out of one eye. I have to wear dark glasses to get over there. The, the um, pharmacy is about a block and a half away, and I didn't want to ask people to help. Would you take me here? Would you take me? You know, God can, with, all, with Christ Jesus, we can do all things. And sometimes, you know what? He needs to flex his muscles so that we can see. We can do all things with Christ Jesus. We don't always need somebody to pick us up and, and take us someplace and pick us up and do something for us because what we think we can do, we can do all things with Jesus. And it didn't snow and it just it was just cloudy. It looked like snow was coming any minute. <laughs> and when I called the pharmacy, they said, oh, we have your drops already. Come on over and get them. I said, okay, I'll be right there. I hurried up and got dressed and got my cane and took off. <laughs> took off. Praise God. Praise God. I share these testimonies because I want you to be encouraged. There's nothing that you can't do without God. It seemed impossible. How was I going to get over there? You know, and I had to repent and ask God for forgiveness. Because the first thing that came in my mind is, oh, my gosh, I can't even see. My eye is in pain. I have these glasses on. Oh, I can only see out of one eye, and it's not even clear. And I might fall down again because I've had falls, and I was just worried. I was all the devil was just throwing all this in the kitchen sink. But then it just got to the point, you know, somebody, sometimes people can give you so much, they can torment you so much, till you just say, okay, enough is enough. Whatever it is, let it be. Don't back me into a wall. That's the worst thing to do is to back me into a wall. Not only me, anyone. To back them into a wall, a punk will fight you back if you hit them enough time. A punk will swing on you. If you back them into a wall and they can't do anything else. Yes, they will. And I just said, devil, you a liar in the name of Jesus. I'm going with the blood of Jesus. I got dressed, got my cane and put my mask on and went on out there. And God just gave me the strength, the power. I didn't feel tired. I didn't feel anything. I just went right on and took care of my business. When I got there, they said, okay, Miss Turner, here are your, your drops that the doctor ordered. Thank you. How much is that? Oh, no, that's on the insurance. It's free. Thank you. And I got me some orange juice and tried it on back home. <laughs> and all I could do, I wanted to do a dance when I got back in this house. 
And I just said, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Because the devil always want to show you the worst part of life. It's never going to be any good. You're never going to be any good. It's going to be bad. This is going to happen. Devil, please, get thee behind me, Satan, the blood of Jesus. Call those things that are not as though they were. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We're calling in power. We're calling in righteousness. We're calling in peace. We're calling in the blood of Jesus because that's what changes everything. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Glory to your name, Lord. Glory to your name, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be encouraged tonight. Be encouraged tonight. I still got this patch on my eye, but it's coming off. It's coming off in the next two days, and I'm going to be okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name. I can do all things, all things. Everything that I do is with Christ Jesus. And I'm so grateful that he loves me like that. He loves me like that. He loves me like that. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name, Lord. I thank you, Father. Oh, Lord Jesus, we need a healing this afternoon, this evening. Some places we're in the afternoon, some places we're in the evening. And we need a healing, emergency 911, healing, healing. He got not no son that. Send your spirit, send your Holy Spirit right now, Lord Jesus. People, your daughters and your sons are suffering, Lord Jesus. Send your spirit right now, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. This disease that's taken over the whole world, Lord Jesus, is not more powerful than anything that you can do. I don't even understand it. I don't care. I don't even want to understand it. I know that you are more than enough. You are the king of kings. All power is in your hand. Authority is in your hand, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, I ask for healing. Healing over my family down there in North Carolina and Charlotte. Everybody in there has COVID. Lord Jesus. It doesn't matter who brought it in. We know who brought it in, but it, what difference does that make? Heavenly Father, we just ask for healing. Healing. Healing, Lord Jesus. Over little Imani, Lord Jesus. Put healing over her, Lord Jesus. Put a tent over her, Lord Jesus. Oh my God, put the angels, war and protective, and ministering angels around her right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Fighting off that wicked demon in the name of Jesus over brandy. Yes, sir. Let her learn to stand up on the word of God. Tina and uh, Corian and D, everyone in that whole household, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Cover that household, Lord Jesus. Let people learn to use wisdom, Lord Jesus. Wisdom, Heavenly Father. I never said too much about it, but we need to go and get the vaccine in the name of Jesus. God created a lot of things, and he created a lot of people that's pulling all this stuff together. We got vaccines for everything in life. I saw a circle on my arm the other day, and I asked the doctor, I said, you know what? We, this circle has been on my arm for years, ever since I was a little kid, and I don't remember what that was for. He said that was um, smallpox. I said, really? I just found out this year that this circle on my arm was smallpox. And I said, I've never known anybody with smallpox. You know why? Because we all had the vaccine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. TB, because we all had the vaccine. Hallelujah. There were still people that caught it, but we had the vaccine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That smallpox, when they give you that shot, that shot, it hurts like I don't know what I remember that. And what happens is it turns to a big old scab on your arm. And after a while, the scab falls off and it forms this weird circle around in your, 
the top part of your shoulder, the top part of your arm. And I still have it. You can see it to this day. Over, I don't know how many years. I'm not, uh, 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 years. <laughs> and it's still there. Stop fooling around with this thing and go get the vaccine. Keep your mask on because there's people walking around that's infected and they're not even telling you anything. They're looking at you crazy. Like everything is everything. Everything is cool. And they're walking around carrying a disease, carrying germs, coughing on you. And they have it. And they refuse to get, um, they refuse to wear masks and they refuse to get the vaccine. So take care of yourself. God wants us to be wise. He wants us to have wisdom. Don't be fools. Don't be foolish. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Don't write me in the letters because I'm not going to read them. Nothing negative. I don't care. Social media, I'm not even on there. <laughs> so I'm telling you, I'm, I'm moving and I'm speaking with the anointing of Christ Jesus. We have to use wisdom and take care of ourselves. And many of those people, I have doctors that have degrees on their wall from different ministries that they serve in and things like that. I, I go into an operating room and I just sing spiritual holy songs talking about Jesus and the blood and doctors and nurses come out and they come by after and just shake my hand. The um, anesthesiologist, um, he's over, all, he has a team and the team was the one that was working on me. He came, he said, I really, really liked what you did in that operating room. I said, what? I didn't do anything. He said, those are some lovely songs. And it was ministry. That's what it was. It was ministering the word of God, no matter what. I even know sign language. And I know words to say, I love you, Lord. I love you. And then you make your L, Lord, and bring it down by your side. And he's the king of kings. Make the king. He can the little son. And Jesus, you put, it's like the nails in his hands. So you touch this, this hole and you touch this hole with the nails in his hands. And then the Holy Spirit is here. Ah, here's the Holy Spirit. Anything, anything to just magnify the Lord. Magnify the Lord. Raise him up. If I have to do it in sign language, if my voice go, I know one thing. I know how to use my hands. All of y'all show up. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Bless your holy name. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, Lord. Grateful, Lord, for another day, for another hour. Father, you've been so good. You've been so good, Lord Jesus. You've been better to us than we've been to ourselves, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Some people are fighting cancer, another disease. Satan just keeps putting down here trying to tear people up and destroy us, Lord Jesus. Have mercy, Heavenly Father. That cancer disease, Lord Jesus, I curse it. Break out of your motion from where it comes to where it goes. Destroy it now, Lord Jesus. People have blood diseases. They have things going on with their blood and all types of things with their bones, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we call it healing down the night, Father. You were wounded for our transgressions. You were bruised for our iniquities, and chastising it up. Our peace is upon you, and by your stripes we are healed. We are healed. We are whole. Thank you, Jesus. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but principalities and high places, and the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, through the pulling down of strongholds and bringing down everything that into submission to Christ Jesus. 
We're pulling down strongholds like a son of financial strife. We're pulling down strongholds. Hallelujah. Of sickness, of illness. We're pulling down strongholds. Hallelujah. Of, of family strife, Lord Jesus. Husbands and wives and mothers and daughters and sons and, and dads, Lord Jesus. We destroy it in the name of Jesus that we all come together on one accord because that's what your word says. We're standing on your word, Family Night Live, keeping it real. Keep it real, okay, with the word of God. Keep it real. Stop messing around with the word of God. You can fool a lot of people. You can fool a lot of people, but you can't fool God. Do you think you can do that? No, you cannot do that. He gives you a choice. Why would you want to fool him? He gives you choices. He can force you to bow down, but he doesn't. He gives you a choice. He gives you a choice. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for choices, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Father. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anybody going through some mental strife, psychiatric right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch their mind. Hallelujah. You've given us power, love, and a sound mind. Touch that mind, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father. Touch that mind. Anybody's thinking about suicide, Lord Jesus. Touch that mind, Lord. In the name of Jesus, you have so much for us, Heavenly Father. And let us learn to open up to you. Get focused on you. When negativity comes in, we got to start talking to ourselves. When I put my hand up in front of my face like it's a mirror, and I just say, okay, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And sometimes you just have to do that. Sometimes I look crazy, but I'd rather look crazy for Jesus than be crazy out there on my own. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name. All powers in his hand. Everything that you need, everything that you want. We got to learn to rely on him and just believe that he is God. He is most powerful. He can do all things. If he can do it, then we can do it because he has given us that power. That's his word. His word, he says, has given us that power, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, anybody going through any heart disease tonight, Lord Jesus, touch their hearts right now, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name, Father. Holy Father, thank you, Lord. Glory, 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 glory. Anybody going through with their lungs, Lord Jesus. Touch the lungs. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, thank you, Jesus. All those, all those organs, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Restoration to the body, Lord. Restoration to the mind. I decree it by the blood of Jesus. I decree it right now in the name of Jesus. I decree it. Turn it around right now in the name of Jesus. What the devil meant for evil, God, turn it around for good. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Father. We are lifting you higher and higher and higher. We praise you. We magnify you. We glorify you. You are Jehovah Jireh. You are Jehovah Rapha. You are Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Shalom. Hallelujah. Lord, we decree peace on earth, Lord Jesus. They're trying to start more wars, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We just ask for your intervention right now, Lord. People are shooting and killing and killing and shooting people like it's a cartoon or something, like they're going to shoot them and they're going to get back up. This is serious. This is very serious. Heavenly Father, this is very serious. This is very serious. Take these guns out of these, these kids' hands that just think they're going to kill each other. And once they kill somebody, they're like 17, 18, 19, 20 years old. They're in prison for the rest of their life. They don't even consider that. They don't even consider that. Have mercy, Father. That's why you say study and show yourself approved rightly to the word of God. Because if you study to show yourself approved rightly to the word of God, you will understand you can be as mad as you want to be with somebody. They can be your worst enemy. But in the end, you are the one that will pay. You will pay also. They will pay, but you will pay also. Have mercy, Father. Give these young people wisdom, Lord Jesus. Let them wise up and stop being stupid. Hallelujah. 
and let these Klansmen who have traded in their hoods for police uniforms stop killing up our children, our sons and our daughters, stop murdering them. In the name of Jesus, Father, we call down a special, special, oh, God, Yashanna, anointing Lord Jesus, that they just begin to tremble in the name of Jesus, out of conviction that they cannot continue to do this in the name of Jesus Christ. Conviction, Lord, conviction, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, that they just can't keep murdering our family, murdering our children, and getting away with it. Oh, Father, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Jesus. Have mercy, Jesus. It's war time. More your shoulder. It's war time, Lord Jesus. And we know that you are leading. Hallelujah. And we line up behind you, behind your word, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We're lining up behind your word. We're standing on your word. Thank you, Lord. Because you are the Prince of Peace. The Word of God said, uh, 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 Unto us a son is born. A child is born. A son is given. The government shall be on his shoulders. And he shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Prince of Peace. You are the Prince of Peace. And we thank you, Father. We just need your peace on this earth. Why can't we just live in peace, live in love, walk in love? In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I thank you for this ministry. And we just go on year after year calling your word, calling your name. Hallelujah. Testifying of the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And we bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Well, Lord, hallelujah. I thank you for everything that you're doing, everything that you're doing with everybody that's connected with um, Family Night Live. (laughs) Keep it real with the word of God. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Father. Some of them are not here, and some of them are. It doesn't matter if they're not here. They're still covered with the blood, Sergeant Diggs. Hey, Shanna. Ruby Kennedy. Hey, Shanna. Thank you, Jesus. Charlotte Rololio Shonda. Thank you, Jesus. Covered with the blood. Nita out there in Panama. Covered with the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Tony in New York City. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless their name. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your name, Lord. Thank you, Father. Valencia down in Jacksonville. Holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah, we worship not flesh and blood, but principalities in our places. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God, you are worthy. God, you are mighty. There is none like you. There is none like you. And we love you, Lord. We worship you, Father. We worship you with everything that we have. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The blood, the blood. The blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You said we're two or more gathered in her name. There you will be in the midst. Oh, Father, we welcome you tonight. We welcome you tonight. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Ha, <laughs> ha. Welcome in this place. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. There is none like you. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this broadcast. For the people who keep this broadcast going, half the time it goes down, it goes up. (laughs) We can't hear, then we can't hear. Lord, but we're grateful. We're grateful. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you for blessing this business. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Glory, bless your name, Lord. Bless your name, Lord. Hallelujah. The blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary. 
above that gives me strength. Thank you, Lord. From day to day, you will never lose His power. He reaches to the highest mountain. It flows to the lowest valley. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said the blood. Ah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 That Jesus shed from day to day, it will never, never, ever, ever lose his power. Bless your name, Lord. We bless your name. We thank you, Father, for another week. You allow us to come together and just worship you, Lord, and love on each other, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for my healing. Thank you, Father. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, to your will. Yes, Lord, to your ways. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, we seal these prayers and these supplications with the blood of Jesus Christ. And we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh. The line is open tonight. Anybody have anything they'd like to say? Come on with it. Y'all know I need a drink of juice or of water or something. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Come on with your testimony. Hi, Dr. Turner. Hi. Dr. Turner. Yes. How are you? Well, um, yes, Joyce Lynn, I hear you. God bless you. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. <laughs> well, I'm home now. After seven, seven months away from home, I finally made it back to the apartment. And Good, I'm giving Joyce God thanks and praise. We've been praying for you, honor. Because, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Because I am home finally. I'm giving thanks and praise because during those months I found out really what was wrong with me. And um, I want to give God all the glory and all the praise and all yes. the thanks. Yes. For leading me and for giving the doctors the wisdom, giving the nurses and all the attendants in the hospital. Yes. Wisdom and kindness. Yes. And patience to be with me. Yes. And um, I'm glad I'm home. Yes. I'm, I'm glad you're home. Settle in. And um, I want to thank all of you for, for the prayers that you put up for me. Absolutely. Most of those seven months I was in bed, I could not get out. I go on my own. We just stand and see you. I tended like a baby. But God finally said, okay, it's time for you to go home now, Joyce. <laughs> I'll always be with you. Yes. And I feel his presence at this moment. Okay, I want to pray for you right now, Joyce. We want to stand together okay. and pray for Joyce right now. 
The word of God said, we're two or more gathered, believing that thing is always done and will be given to us by our Father, which is in heaven. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for restoring our sister Joyce. Hallelujah. Daughter of the King. Restoring her, Lord Jesus. Bringing her home, Father. Giving her strength in her body. Giving her strength in her mind and her spirit, Lord Jesus. As she continues to heal. And we thank you, Lord, for everything that you're doing from her, for her, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, just touch her right now. In Jesus' name. Touch her right now, Holy Spirit. Increase. 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 God gives us the increase. Increase. Strengthen her, Father. Give her everything that she needs, Lord. And we thank you, Father, as we stand together, believing the best for our sister. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Thank you very much. Anybody else? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Sorry, Pastor. Good evening. You caught me chewing. <laughs> I was trying to swallow up quick what I had in my mouth. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait. I'm sorry. Good evening. <laughs> He's giving you our thanks for another day for his mercy for and for his grace and allow us to come together one more week. Yes, yes. The prayer line. Yes. And I'm um, very grateful and thankful to hear Sister Joyce in the background. Yes, yes, yes. Sharing that she made it home. I'm I'm glad to hear her voice also. I hope I hope I visit soon. Lord, it's really sometime <laughs> Thank this week. you. Mm-hmm. Yes. I said, turn on YouTube before I cannot run and give you a visit, but I can run and give you a hug. <laughs> yeah. I can give you a hug. Okay. And I thank the Lord for you all so that I, I know you went through your eye procedure and the praying for speedy recovery yeah. with that eye also. I'm feeling much better. I have to my glasses you. on much better? because of the light sensitivity. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That one helps a lot. Yes. The Princess Peter Recovery, you also yes. by yourself there. That Allah will watch over you and, and touch you and heal your body. Heal you. Heal yes. you. Restoration for you and your health also. Hallelujah. Just touch her. From the crown of her head, the bun and feet, the blood and mercy protection over her, Father God. Yes, and yes. Sometimes yes. when we don't come on the line, she always there faithful to pray for us and to call on your name. You know what name you. So we thank you for her, Father God. Thank you very much for the pastor. Thank you for all the prayers for my mom. Oh, she don't have any phone. That's another story. The crackhead stole the phone line, so there we go. They sell it for, I don't know if the copper or or the metal, whatever they sell, but <laughs> she said to tell you hello, so that's another story. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. We pray for Tina also. The Lord touched Tina body and all the family members in the household. Praying for healing for Tina. Yeah. Restoration for her health also, what I got. And now Imani has it. each and one of us. Imani too. Oh, little Imani. Mm. Yeah. Touch your family, mm-hmm. what I got. Touch it. Yes. Touch the entire family. Tina household, what I got. They need yes. it right now, what I got. Restoration. All who, all who going through it, Father, we pray for healing. You watch over them. Keep God and protect them, Father. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you for my strength and my health. Yes. For the portion of strength and health that I got, Father God. I thank you. Thank you for my husband and family. You need to be serious about it. Thank you. I do. I do. I run in and I run out. I got my shots. Got two, three, the booster. Got them all. Yeah. And you're right, yeah. Pastor. When we was coming up, we used to get all the shots. We just got the shots. Yeah. chicken pox. Yeah. We had it all when we was coming up. And now um, people, and then they had boosters when we were coming up, and we had to go get boosters for our children. And people yeah. are acting like that's a foreign word, a booster. Oh. We always had that. And we what bothers me is people know country. that they don't have anything. They haven't taken the shots, and they walk around with disease in their body, and just coughing and breathing on other people. 
Mm-hmm. And then I want to tell you what they have. Then I want to tell you. Is them already sick? No, they don't tell you. No, they don't tell you. Not going to tell you. No, they don't want to tell you. Kill if you have it or not. They're not gonna tell you. Bye bye. We gotta use wisdom. We gotta use wisdom and common sense out there. By his stripes we are healed. We are healed by his stripes. So if some people right. like um Brandy had the shots, I think um Tina had it too. So they have the um they caught the virus but it's not as bad as um a lot of people had it, you know. Imani hasn't had any shots. I've been trying to get them to give her a shot, and they were waiting, but it doesn't matter because God is in charge. The Holy Amen. Spirit has her. The Holy Spirit has her. So she's fine. I'm not even going to worry about that. I'm not. So. I remember really quick when I wish Joyce was in the rehab place, and we went to visit her. We had the shakedown at the inside, from the front. We have a mask. We have to check off our mask to give us a seal one, to give us a shield. They sanitize our hands. We had a right. I didn't even want to spray us upside down. Yes. When we try to a stop notch, and I like that. Because the seniors and the elderly inside the place, the facility, they're already dealing with whatever issue they got with health. And then you come in to visit and you bring your stuff to them. And Yes, that's true. I, I mean... You have well, five minutes up front with a nurse. You've got to pass her front before you go in the back. That's see true. any one of the residents. That's and you true. Have to, and you have to have your vaccine card with you, too. You cannot pass, no, you don't go with a vaccine card. And they, they, they sanitize you the moment you come in from the door to the back where she was. Yes. But I'm just saying, nobody, everybody, people doing what they want. As I said, we got to use common sense. <laughs> common sense. Yeah. And they go together. Common and sense, they go together. We got That's to use right. common sense and wisdom. That's right. So, you know what we have to do? We have to stay redundant sons and, and daughters of the king. We just have to stay prayerful because we know what's right. So, we have to stay close to Christ Jesus and keep calling, on, right. him, calling on his name. And yeah. I want to start, I want to pray for our children now, for our first fruits. I'm calling them out. Um, I can barely see with these glasses on. Dylan and Winter, um, Jaleel, Nala, Imani, Myla, Jazim, Anaya, Ashley, Jasmine, Tobiah, Shayla, Josiah, Jude, um, Alfredo, DJ, Imari, Daniel and Brando, baby Jacob, Colby, Brenlin, the Davis, and Smith family, and the Taylor family. They Taylor family, they just buried their, um, well, she just buried her grandson that was shot by the police. And um, we're, we're praying for all of them. And uh, then we have some young men over here. Kevin Love, Corian, Marcus, Khalid, Caleb, and Stephen Harris. I can barely see. I have these dark glasses on. I'm sorry. So I just want to um, remind you of one thing. Isaiah 65 and 24 says, Before they call, I will answer. I will answer. While they are yet speaking, I will hear. This is Christ Jesus. Before before we even call, he said he will answer. So, Heavenly Father, I put these children up under you, Father. This is your responsibility. And we're just coming together as intercessors to bring our babies before you, Father. We just ask that you continually watch over them. Put angels around them, warn, protective, and ministering angels, Lord Jesus. No weapon formed against them will prosper. Things will come against them, but it will not prosper. It will not come into manifestation in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. No gun activity, no addiction, drugs, alcohol, food, sex. In the name of Jesus, I curse it by the blood of Jesus Christ that they will grow up to be administrators for Christ Jesus. They will go on to be... They will go on to be bright and shining stars in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Everything that you have desired for them, it will come into manifestation. And we thank you, Father. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whew. Well, we're, we're doing okay on time tonight. <laughs> I just want to say um, this is a ministry that cares about souls. About souls. Because if somebody didn't pray for me, I wouldn't be here. But somebody did. And they taught me how to, they didn't teach me, the Holy Spirit taught me. They called Jesus on me because I was so messed up. They couldn't tell me nothing. <laughs> they had to call Jesus. Jesus, go get that girl over there because she's crazy. We can't deal with her. I was like that man who was up in the rocks. And they, they the town banished him to the, um I don't know, it was the rocks. They said it was graves and stuff in there and he was just out there they couldn't they tried to tie him down they couldn't even tie him down because he would break through the ties and he was he wasn't in his right mind but you know what he saw oh lord Lord, he saw from a a great distance he saw a boat coming and jesus was in the boat and guess what he ran down there and told jesus heal me lord how do you know that? And all you do is act crazy all day long, running around um, the town, scaring everybody, acting the fool, just acting crazy. Oh, my God. But when Jesus steps in, that's all you need. That is all you need. That is all you need. When Christ Jesus steps in, when he intervenes, and he will intervene for any one of us because we are his children. We are God's children. We have children, we have sons, we have daughters, and sometimes they're not doing the, you know, things that we approve of or whatever, but they're still our sons and daughters, and we're still God's children. We are still God's children. And that crazy man, that story, it just, I'm just so fascinated by that because this man didn't know anything, and he was just, and they say crazy, they said that's not, you know, politically correct, but... The man was crazy as far as I could see. He was running all over town. He would scare people. They were terrified of him. They tried to tie him up, tie him down. He would bust through the ties and everything. Then he would go and stay out in the um in out out in the like the outside of the town and it was mountains and hills and he just climb up and down the mountains and the hills and act the fool. That's all he ever did. And people were scared of him. And he would do weird things and hit himself all in the head and then he saw he saw Jesus coming one day across the lake, across the river. And he recognized the anointing. I can't say he recognized the man because he had never seen Jesus. But he recognized the anointing. He knew it was something different. And he ran to him asking, Jesus, save me. Jesus prayed over him, and that man got healed and went home to his family. Sometimes we want to, we're so worried about loved ones and this one getting saved and that one getting saved. That's not our, that's not our responsibility. Our responsibility is to call Christ Jesus. We got to call Jesus. Jesus. He's the one that will turn things around. He's the one that will turn night into day. What the devil meant for evil, Jesus will turn it around for good. That's who you need to call. That's who you need to call. Stop battering people, telling them what they should and should not do. You just call on Jesus and love them where they are. And if you can't love them where they are, just move back. Love them from afar. Some people need to be loved from afar. (laughs) You can't love them real close. You just have to love them from afar. (laughs) You love them from afar and call Jesus. That's all you can do with some people, okay? Praise God, praise God, praise God. And so I want to say now, if there's someone here who does not know Christ Jesus as their Lord and Savior, and if you would like to come into the knowledge of Christ, if you would like to serve him for the rest of your life, we'll pray a prayer of salvation along with you. 
and all you have to do is repeat after me. Then there's some who are backsliders, and you know who you are. People kill me saying, why do you use that term, Pastor? Because some people don't know what that is. The backslider knows what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Backslider know exactly what it is. <laughs> it means you were going one way, now you're going another. <laughs> so you need to turn around and come on home because your father's waiting for you. Uh, but the word says all you have to do is confess your sins to God and come on home because your father's waiting for you. So backslider, that's the word to you today. <laughs> And if you don't know Christ Jesus as your Lord and Savior and you choose to, this is something that you choose. Nobody's talking you into it. No one's um, forcing you into anything. But if you want to worship and serve the Lord, repeat after me, please. Heavenly Father, I am a sinner. I ask forgiveness for my sins. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. He died for me and rose again. He left the Holy Spirit until he returns. I want to serve you, Lord, for the rest of my life. And I thank you, Father, for forgiving me, Lord Jesus. And by faith, I believe that I am saved. And I am welcome in your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Woo! Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please contact me. I'd like to um, give you some information. Um, to help you along with your salvation, not to join a church or a ministry, but to help you with your relationship with Christ Jesus, because that's a one-on-one. -on -one. Only way you're going to know him is to know him for yourself. I can tell you a lot of things, but the only way you're going to really know him is to know him for yourself. I remember um, there's a new manager in our in my building, and People, a lot of rumors started because he was young and nobody really wanted to listen to him. And I went down to meet him. And I talked to him. He was so gracious. He was so kind. I was like kind of shocked. Because I go, why are people saying these things? But the only way you know somebody is to go and meet them and know them for yourself. Right. You want to know Jesus? I can tell you a lot of things. Pastors can tell you a lot of things, but you need to know him for yourself. It's a one-on-one -on -one relationship, okay? Praise God. Contact me at redeemingfire127 at gmail.com. Redeeming is spelled R-E-D-E-E-M-I-N-G, fire127 at gmail.com. That's it. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. 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 This has been a good meeting. See, the devil thought he had me, but Jesus came and grabbed me. He held me close so I wouldn't let go. Me and my one eye. <laughs> Don't ever let go. Don't ever I'm, let go. I'm going to preach with my good eye, my one good eye. <laughs> yes, sir. Read. With my one good eye that I can see through, I'm still going to bring his word. Hallelujah. Bless your name, Lord. Bless your holy name. Hallelujah. Bless all of our friends in um, Belize, the Belize family, in Cuba, in Panama, over there in Haiti. Change that name. I'm just going to keep on saying it. I had stopped, but I'm going to keep on saying it. Change that name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless your name. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Remember, your future is greater than your past. God still has work for you to do. He still has work for you to do. He still has work for me to do. I'm in the operating room ministering to people, 
don't even know what I was singing. I know I was singing something, and I know they came out and said, thank you, that was really beautiful. And I was like, oh, I guess I was on it today. <laughs> Not always on it, y'all. <laughs> but I was on it. I was on it that day. <laughs> and that was because of the grace of God, because God wanted to minister to them. So that's a blessing. But remember, your future is greater than your past. And stay focused, stay connected, and remain faithful to the one who first loved you. And I love you, too. God bless you all. God bless you all. Have a wonderful week. Stay blessed. Stay in the, stay in the frame of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he loves you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you all. Have a wonderful week. God bless you all. Good night, all.